The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What does that really mean? Well, let's take a look at what Florence Scovel Shin has to say about it in her Secret Door to Success book. She writes, The 23rd Psalm is the best known of all the Psalms. We might say that it is the key note to the message of the Bible. The key note. It tells man he shall never want when he has realization or conviction that the Lord is his shepherd. The realization that infinite intelligence supplies every need. If you get this conviction today, every need will be met now and forevermore. You will draw instantly from the abundance of the spheres whatever you desire or require. For what you need is already on your pathway. She goes on to say, true spirituality is proving God as your supply daily, not just once in a while, and then says, now how does one make this contact with this invisible supply? By taking a statement of truth, which clicks and gives him realization. This is not open to a chosen few. Whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. The Lord is your shepherd and my shepherd, and everybody's shepherd. God is the supreme intelligence devoted to supplying man's need. The explanation is that man is God in action. Jesus Christ said, I and the Father are one. We might paraphrase and say, I and the great creative principle of the universe are one and the same. And this is the key to our upcoming meditation today. When she writes, Man only lacks when he loses his contact with this creative principle, which must be truly trusted, for it is pure intelligence and knows the way to fulfillment. The reasoning mind and personal will. Let me repeat that. The reasoning mind and personal will will cause a short circuit. Trust in me and I will bring it to pass. Seeking the Lord means that man must make the first move. Draw near to me and I will draw near to thee, saith the Lord. You seek the Lord by making your affirmation, expecting and preparing for your good. So we will now draw near to the Lord, which is the infinite intelligence that is alive within you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then these things will be added unto you. The kingdom of God, the riches and vastness of the universe is already alive and created within you. Manifestation is bringing about that abundance, bringing out those riches by going within and connecting in harmony. I and the Father are one. It is already done and by divine right, by divine right, as Florence likes to say, by divine right, you claim the riches of the universe that God has for you that the Creator has for you, that divine intelligence has for you. He restoreth my soul. We go in and thank the Lord in prayer. And prayer, according to Neville, is feeling into the already finished creation. You claim the riches. You go in and thank the Lord in prayer and feel into the vastness of the wonderful creation. So you align now by entering the kingdom going into the subconscious mind, restoring my soul, becoming one with the Father, awakening to the riches within you. So that is what we do with meditation. That is what we do. We close our eyes and go quietly into the stillness to be in harmony with the God power that is within you. Draw near, draw near to thee, saith the Lord. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. I'm going to sprinkle in some Florence affirmations as you meditate on aligning with the God force within you that is your infinite supply. And as she says from the verse, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, she says the realization that infinite intelligence supplies every need. You don't have to know how it's going to happen. The Lord is your shepherd. He will set your path in motion when you allow and you quiet the mind. And the more and more you meditate, the more and more it will just be intuitive and the Lord will guide you. 
not by my will, but by thy will be done. And your will is God's will, and God's will is your will. So when you connect and align and go within and feel the energy of the power that is within you, that is the secret. That is the key of the teachings of the Bible. It's the keynote message. It tells man he shall never want when he has realization or conviction that the Lord is his shepherd. The realization that infinite intelligence supplies every need. If you get this conviction today, every need will be met now and forevermore. So let us draw into this abundance that is within you already. Breathe in and breathe out and close the eyes and let's begin to seek the Lord. Let's begin to relax into the knowing that it is finished. It is already done. There is nothing that you have to do but go and be one with the Father. You already are. Draw near to me and I will draw near to thee. Quiet the mind. Slow down the thoughts. Breathe in and breathe out. And be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I'm going to begin some affirmations from Florence Skovoshin. And as I read them, let the ones that resonate with you go with you, feel into them. And the ones that may not, just let them go. Feel into these powerful words of knowing. You are becoming one with the power that is within you. You are feeling the light that is within you. Breathe in and breathe out as you are getting more and more relaxed, taking this time to become one and in harmony with the infinite intelligence that is within you. Only that which is true of God is true of me, for I and the Father are one. As I am one with God, I am one with my good, for God is both the giver and the gift. Endless good comes now to me in endless ways. Man's will is powerless to interfere with God's will. God's will is now done in my mind, body, and affairs. My good now flows to me in a steady, unbroken, ever-increasing stream of success, happiness, and abundance. There are no lost opportunities in the kingdom. As one door shuts, another door opens. I am in perfect harmony with the working of the law. I stand aside and let infinite intelligence make easy and successful my way.
I am necessary to God as he is to me, for I am the channel to bring his plan to pass. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall never want. Thy kingdom come, in me thy will be done, in me and my affairs. My supply is endless, inexhaustible, and immediate, and comes to me under grace in perfect ways. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of abundance forever. My good now flows to me in a steady, unbroken, ever-increasing stream of happiness. As I am one with God, I am now one with my heart's desire. God's ideas for me are perfect and permanent. My endless good now comes to me in endless ways. I am at peace with myself and with the whole world. I love everyone and everyone loves me. The floodgates of my good now open. God is my unfailing and immediate supply of all good. I am poised and powerful. My greatest expectations are realized in a miraculous way. I have perfect confidence in God, and God has perfect confidence in me. I cast every burden on the Christ within, and I go free. My mind, body, and affairs are now molded according to the divine pattern within. Divine activity is now operating in my mind, body, and affairs, whether I see it or not. Since I am one with the only presence, I am one with my heart's desire.